Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. This time we have a weapon crafting guide for Fallout 4. Weapon crafting in the game is as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. Depending on your character's abilities and how far you want to develop your skills, weapon modding can vary from minor buffs to damage, to completely overhauling a weapon, giving it a new name to boot. There are about 50 weapons in the game, with over 700 mods. This means there are thousands of viable combinations for you to make through crafting. Weapon crafting is unlocked very early into the game, and everything is handled at a weapon workbench. You can find one within the first hour of the game at Sanctuary. It's also a fantastic way to get some quick experience before heading off further into the wasteland. The workbench UI is pretty straightforward. On the left you can see the weapon's current attributes and the effect the mods will have on it. In the middle you'll see the mod slots for the weapon you choose to modify. Each mod type will affect the weapon in various ways, but some mods will only affect certain weapon types. The receiver changes damage, critical shot damage, rate of fire and armour penetration. Basically, if you want your gun to hit more, upgrade your receiver. The barrel mainly adjusts accuracy, but it also improves hip fire and recoil. Grips improve accuracy and range, a great addition to any weapon. Magazines will not only affect the capacity of bullets, but also the reload time. Sights will change accuracy and focus on the target, particularly useful for sniper rifles. Muzzles improve recoil at the cost of decreasing the range. This is also where you can add a silencer for all you sneaky players out there. Unique to rifles, stocks are all about improving their recoil and aim. And finally, capacitors are for laser weapons. They make big changes to damage, critical hits and burning damage. It will also improve ammo capacity. It's important to keep in mind that some mods are locked behind specific perks, especially when deviating into different weapon types. You can easily see when that is by looking on the right of the menu. The gun nut perk gives you access to rank 2, 3 and 4 mods. It requires a base intelligence of at least 3, but it's an essential perk for gun crafting. Scrapper is also another must have. This lets you salvage uncommon components like screws and copper. Later on you'll salvage nuclear material and fibre optics for the more powerful weapons. If you're looking to mod melee weapons, maybe to add some barbed wire to a baseball bat, then you want the blacksmith perk. And science is the best choice if you're using laser weapons. The perk will improve all high tech modding, including armour, explosives and weapons. So you definitely get your money's worth. On the right you'll also see the materials required for the mod. If you're struggling to find certain pieces of scrap, then you can tag them for search when at the workbench. This will highlight them in the world whenever you explore, which is super useful. Once you have all of the necessary perks and the scrap items required for the mod, it'll then simply come down to how you want your weapon to look and behave. Be sure to keep an eye on the attributes to the left to see what effect it'll have on your weapon, as well as the detailed description for the mod in the middle. Also keep in mind that you can rip the mod off one weapon and then apply it to another. This applies to any legendary weapons too, and any rare mods they might come with. You can find a lot of really useful effects, from bleeding to just straight up explosions. We've had a lot of fun so far messing around with the different mods. The melee weapons in particular are really fun to play around with, especially when you invest into a couple of the strength perks. There's also a ton of wacky combinations that you wouldn't really expect, but we'll leave you to discover those for yourselves in game. If you're looking for some more general tips for Fallout, then be sure to check out our recent tips video. Or if you're looking to optimise your game, or want to know what each option in a launcher does, then be sure to check out our settings breakdown. Just before we wrap up, we'd like to thank WeMesh for sponsoring this episode. WeMesh is a video watching app that lets you share and watch videos with friends in perfect sync. It's great for watching movie trailers, let's plays or even our videos with friends from anywhere in the world at the exact same time. You can even talk or chat via text while watching too. And to get it today you can find a link in the description below. That's it for this video, we'll see you again soon for more Fallout 4.